The greatest happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved, love for ourselves. And if there is anything better than being loved, it is loving. You're about to make promises to each other that you intend to keep. You're going to vow to take care of each other, to stand up for one another, and find happiness in the other. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. Together we're stronger, fiercer, and smarter. We laugh hard and listen harder. We back each other up and calm each other down. We believe in each other and believe in our love. Together we can face anything good or bad, happy or sad, and come out better. Because of what we've gone through, we know life is sweeter, lived hand in hand, side by side. Together we put play in our work and work at our play, living and loving life with our best friend. We're braver and bolder because we know that no matter what we're taking on the world together. Here's to a future filled with laughter and love and never being bored again. Kate, my wife, can you believe we are finally married? I feel like it was just yesterday when you were running up to me in your driveway at 2 a.m. in your little pink floral dress. That was the day you changed my life. I have never loved like I love you. I love absolutely everything about you, even the things that make me mad. The last eight years of my life I owe to you, my happiness, my memories, my laughter, love, and all of it. It's an indescribable feeling to know that I can have all of that and more for the rest of my life. Thank you for loving me the way that you do. Thank you for always choosing me. From this day and every day after, I choose you too. I will love you every minute of every day. I will be better, I will work hard each day for us and for you. I will be the wife you deserve and I'll make sure of that. I love you so much. Always set up. To my forever. Can you believe after 886 days of being fiancés, we are finally here on our wedding day? Ever since I blew a kiss to you back in the summer of 2014 out of my Kia Rio window, to you and your beat up Honda CRV, I knew I wanted to marry you. Our relationship has gone through long distance and new apartments, two dogs, ton of planes, trains, and new countries, and all of it has been enjoyable because I have done it with your hand in mine. I'm so grateful to get to walk through this life with you. I'm so grateful that laughter will forever remain a top priority between us. I'm so grateful that the most boring tasks are fun. I'm so grateful that the scary stuff is never scary because I have you. I'm so excited to see how beautiful you look today and to take your hand in mine and promise you all the good, bad, and ugly, even though life is never ugly with you. I love you endlessly, Sarah Catherine, and this is the best day of my life. It is my absolute dream come true to marry you. TNA, Kate. gather today in celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. We celebrate the love between Kate and Sarah, who have asked us to be a part of this celebration. They welcome us and ask us to share in their love and witness their commitment to one another. Kate and Sarah wanted to do a special shout out to all of those who traveled to be with us this weekend. A special thank you to Sarah's parents, Lewis and Kathy, 
for making this beautiful day possible. This day is about Kate and Sarah. Their relationship up until now and starting today, their official commitment to each other going forward. Some of you have known Kate and Sarah since the day they were born or from the time they were very young kids. Others from school, the gym, or work. Some share a part in how they became a couple. Sarah met through a mutual friend nearly eight years ago, back in 2014. While Sarah was at Asbury Park Pride, a friend suggested she talk to her friend, Kate, who lived in Ohio. <laughs> Sarah was skeptical at first, as Ohio isn't exactly close by, <laughs> but she decided to message Kate on Facebook anyway. Once Kate and Sarah started talking, they literally never stopped, not for a single day since that initial DM. Kate invited Sarah to her 21st birthday. Sarah road tripped to Ohio and they met in person for the first time at 2 a.m. on Kate's driveway. <laughs> they started dating when they were long distance with Kate in Ohio and Sarah in Delaware. Their first official date came after they were already dating when Kate surprised Sarah at college and they carved their initials into a restaurant table. <laughs> Kate and Sarah a few questions. When did you first know you were in love? And Kate and Sarah separately had the same answer. <laughs> it was on the same trip they first met. They were driving separate cars in Ohio with Kate ahead of Sarah. At a red light, Kate blew Sarah a kiss. Sarah saw, caught the kiss, and put it to her heart. Sarah thought about how crazy it was to miss someone who was right in front of her and knew she loved Kate. Kate watched Sarah catch her kiss in the car's rearview mirror and knew she was going to marry Sarah. After dating for five years, Kate and Sarah both made plans to propose. As I'm sure you've all seen, they executed two picture-perfect proposals, with Kate proposing at the Eiffel Tower in Paris and Sarah proposing on The Ellen Show. Kate are the type of people that complement each other perfectly. Kate loves how Sarah makes things simple and easy and manageable and is the calm whenever Kate needs. Kate has said from day one, Sarah has felt like her best friend and her partner wrapped into one. Laughter is their top priority always. And 10 years from now, whether they are on the beach or at their dream home or just on their couch, I know that they are going to be just as incredibly happy together as they are today.
And that brings them here. A time to pause, look back, and smile at all the moments that brought them to this place. And a time to look ahead at all of the moments that are still to come. I'm here, we're all here, because we want those moments for you. We are here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to share our love for you with you. We've all heard the saying, love is love. Nothing can be more true. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You are both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. You are choosing to be a team in life. Life has been a dream from the moment that I met you. It was only shortly after meeting you, I started to see my future in your eyes. I knew right away you were going to be the woman I love for the rest of my life. Today is the day I finally get to call you my wife. <laughs> the day that I vow to spend the rest of my days loving you. The day that I vow to always put us first and work together as a team. Words cannot explain how excited I am to spend the rest of forever doing all the little things that make you happy. As your wife, I promise to spend the rest of my days making you laugh your perfect laugh, even though you say I broke your humor. <laughs> I promise to turn off the kitchen light and blow out all the candles before bed. I promise laughter will always be a commonplace in our home. I promise to encourage your dreams and walk beside you during anything life may bring. Most of all, I promise to love you every day. You are my world and I choose you every single day. My love, my life, my person, I love you to pieces. When I think about us and our journey, I always say that it feels like five seconds and 500 years all at once. I think it's because I always have butterflies when I'm with you and it still feels like we're just falling in love. And then it feels like 500 years because it feels like my soul has always loved and known yours and your arms have always felt like home. I think I started to realize what kind of impact you'd have on my life after our first conversation was about our favorite snacks and it lasted six hours. From long distance and FaceTime dates to moving to our first place together and finding friends in a new city, to growing up together and creating our own chosen family, nothing has ever been boring or hard because I know when I look to my side, you will always be there. I can't promise I'll stop being stubborn or that I'll be better about walking Paisley, but I promise you these things. I promise to always kiss you before bed and as soon as I wake up, even though your breath smells terrible. I promise to always tell you when there's something in your teeth after we eat so you never have to ask me again. I promise to help shut the blinds if there's a night you truly don't want to and to stop getting mad at you for leaving the kitchen lights on. I promise to always make sure that laughter remains at the forefront of our lives together. I promise to always protect your kind heart and your gentle spirit. I promise to never let us go to bed angry at one another. I promise to always be your partner in life and in love and to always remember that we are a team in this together on the same side, fighting to love each other as hard as we can. Most importantly, I promise to choose you and choose us every single day for the rest of our lives. You are the greatest gift that life has given me, Sarah, and loving you continues to be the easiest thing that I've ever done. Your enormous heart and your tender soul, your big contagious laughter, your ability to make anybody feel like one of your lifelong friends, the reasons that I love you could go on forever. I would choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality. I'd find you and I'd choose you, Sarah.
Kate, you have chosen Sarah to be your wife. Will you love and respect her? Will you be honest with her always? Will you stand by her through whatever may come? I will. <laughs>First of all, I just want to welcome everyone here today. Special event. My wife and I have to be one of the proudest people around. We have three beautiful kids, two dynamite grandchildren, and probably more to come. But today is Sarah and Kate's day. I met Kate's family yesterday at the hotel and at the uh, after party dinner. And I feel like I know them for 10 years. They're great people and the family grows a little bit bigger for the Salsentis and the Austins. These kids are growing up a little different than the way we grew up. I would come home from work, and Kathy would tell me we're watching Paisley for the weekend because Sarah and Kate are going to Spain. And I said, the weekend or for the week? And she said, no, for the weekend. And I would say, when I was growing up, my vacation from Friday night Sunday was I got in a car my parents drove me to Mastic Shirley Long Island and that was my vacation say one without the other. They're the perfect duo that complements each other in every way. They have navigated life's journey together, creating endless memories of love and happiness. Everyone that crosses their path is met with smiles, laughter, and stories for a lifetime. I'll never forget the first time I met Kate and seeing how happy she made my sister. I remember thinking to myself, wait, they're like the cutest couple I've ever seen. Why aren't Albie and I this cute? 
You could tell they had an instant connection and a bond that would eventually grow into the love that they share today. It was so natural and it felt so complete. Sarah and Kate are the greatest example of what a perfect couple looks like. They support one another, motivate each other, and make each other the best version of themselves. Kate and I always joke that not a lot of people can match our energy, and Sarah has that and so much more. Kate was always the most above and beyond person I knew until Sarah. Sarah is the cheerleader for the cheerleader. She exemplifies my friend in a way that could never imagine. <laughs> Energy as a couple is the embodiment of everything that is good and kind. And then I know that the life that they've built and the life they're going to get to new building is going to pour into everybody in this room's cup. I'd like to all have you all join me in raising our glass for the new Mrs. and Mrs. Solsenti. Here's to you both, then, now, and always. I want you both to take a moment to look around the room and see that you're surrounded by all of your closest family and friends who are here to celebrate your love tonight. You both deserve nothing but the best and I am so excited to see what the next chapter brings. Let us raise a glass and cheers to the two most beautiful brides, the new Mrs. and Mrs. Sarah and Kate Solsenti. All I just have to say is keep that momentum up because that's the way you have to live. You keep that up, you'll be successful in the future with your family, with your friends, and with business or whatever. And I'm just very proud of you guys. So I just want to thank everybody. Kate, Sarah, individually and together, you guys are the absolute best friends anybody could ever ask for. No amount of words can explain how thankful we will always be for this little foursome and how much you guys mean to us. Being able to witness your love grow and evolve over the last six years has been nothing short of pure magic. You know how to make each other better, truly. limits to what the two of you can do and we cannot wait to see where life takes you both continuing to be your number one cheerleaders from the sidelines so everyone else raise your glass for Kate and Sarah Solzenti